Welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Ultra Sun. Last time I I arrived at Mount Lanekala. I fought Gladion in a friendly battle and started my and went up about halfway through the mountain. And right before me is where Necrozma fell. This is his default form. Today I hopefully will be catching Necrozma. Yes, uh... Necrozma has fallen to the ground weak and drained of power. Will you share the light of your Z power ring with Necrozma? Yes. It is here you can finally be able to actually catch it, the lighted one, as the Ultra Recon Squad calls it. Uh, in its default stage, Necrozma is... Ooh, that was close. Critical hit? Oh wow, imagine if I had used, uh... Imagine if I had used Z-Power or Night Slash on it. Here in its default form, Necrozma is only- is just Psychic type. No secondary type, like it's previous two forms. Oh yeah, Pokeball, good. <laughs> I I caught it in a Pokeball. <laughs> I didn't think it would be that easy. Pokeball. Oh my god. It's, is it really that weakened from trying? Is it really that weakened from combining itself with Solgaleo or Lunala if you are playing Ultra, Ultra Moon? And going into its Ultra form? That I was able to put it to sleep and catch it in one Pokeball? It registered a legendary Pokemon. Necrozma, the prism Pokemon. Type Psychic. Height 7 feet 10 inches. Weight 507.1 pounds. It looks somehow pained. It looks somehow pained as it rages around in search of light, which serves as its energy. It's apparently from another world. You found a Z-crystal that fell from the Cosmo. You obtained an Ultra Necrosium Z. Splendid! Colres? Colres? It's been a while, Oichi. You must be a formidable trainer indeed if you are able to get Necrozma as one of your allies. Good! And this is from me! The Ultra Recon Squad asked me to develop a device that would help that would be able to control Necrozma. But I improved it to my own liking. And now it is a device that makes it possible to draw out even more powerful power from Necrozma. Yes, in short, it will make it it makes it possible for Necrozma to fuse with the legendary Pokemon Solgaleo. 
This is the Colrez machine number 1198, officially dubbed the N Solarizer. In addition, this is the Colrez machine number 1199, officially dubbed the N Lunarizer. It makes it possible for Necrozma to fuse with the legendary Pokemon Lunala. Ah yes, I have heard in fact that you first met Solgaleo. No, it's pre-evolved. It's pre-evolved Cosmog upon Mahalo Trail. I believe that a trainer like you will be able to use both Alola's legendary Pokemon and the fearsome power of Necrozma properly. I happen to know quite a bit about Pokemon Fusion myself, but that is a different tale. Good luck in your battles! That scientist guy's a little strange, but at least he seems nicer than the weird glasses guy at Aether Paradise. You <laughs> said it. Uh... Rotom Dex? Rotom Dex? My desire knows no bounds! I want both victory and all the Pokémon! Collector Minty? This is very tight. I so desired is now beyond my grasp. Lani Kali Mount Lani Kila towers above us all. This is a new joy for hikers only. I won't let anyone else trample all over this beauty.
trainer in Pokemon bigger than any mountain? Now, isn't that something? You're more of a challenge than Mount Lanikila itself. Just having a Z-Power ring or Z-Crystals doesn't mean anything. The power they hold means no nothing unless you use it. It seems like you know the strength of the power you hold, and it's dangerous too. Up here is... I see him, Z. Yeah, just like that. I think this is the... Actually, I think this is the icy rock. Yeah, I think that is the ice, ice rock. Uh, yeah.
If you uh, train your bring your Eevee here and you train it around this area, it will and level it up. It will evolve into Glaceon. Oh my Pokemon! All oh, my luggage! I've got my Pokeballs, my backpack, both full of dreams! And we fully admit defeat. My heart's full of memories too, you know, and they include my battle with you now. Oh, it's back to the crater. Keep losing, but I think this battle, next battle, I'm gonna win. Another loss! Another defeat! I fail of epic proportions! If you keep losing and losing and losing, you can be keep believing that you'll win next time. That's why I keep challenging people to battles. Oh wait, I think this is the icy rock. Why do I keep on this up its location? Over here to the far left is TM-13 Ice Beam. I 
I never stop owning my skills as, as an ace. My skills as a veteran have not dwindled.
My skills as a veteran were not enough against you, eh? My skills as an ace, they meant nothing against you. You, you, car you carry on ahead. We will continue to own our skills and we will surpass you someday. You should move on ahead. We will train more and ca we'll catch up with you someday. Oh, did you come? Did you come to see Vulpix? Just look at the darling. It will absolutely, it still absolutely loves you. Hello, Vulpix. Remember that Vulpix in that Aether trailer? Well, here it is. such a wonderful Pokemon League. I'm one of the builders of this Pokemon League. Is it okay to tell you a story rather passionately? Yes. When it was decided to build the Pokemon League, we trembled with excitement, as we were going to build a big stage for battle in the Alola region for the first time. And we also trembled in awe as we were going to develop the sacred Mount Lanakila. Professor Kukui said that building the league on the sacred that building the league on the sacred ground would show respect to the Tapu because we will dedicate our battles to the Tapu. The professor also said that the building shouldn't spoil the scenery of Mount Maniakila and asked us to build a Pokemon League that re respects the tradition and history, but at the same time that has the feeling of the future, a league that can be built only by a- only in Alola. That is how this amazing Pokemon League was built. My champion! <laughs> Professor Kukui called up everyone who had ever passed all the trials or because- or become an island ch challenge champion and summon them here. He said, don't you want to see if you could, you have what it takes to be called a world-class champion? There are skilled trainers all over the place in Alola. If you can beat them all, then maybe I'll show you my full power too. That's it for this episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun. Next time, I will take on the Pokemon League. See you guys later.